Hey, what's going on everyone? Jamie Fenn here, and today I'm super excited to show you guys this neon glow transition in DaVinci Resolve. Now this transition is actually pretty easy to do, and I'm going to show you some of the tools that you can customize on your own and make your own transitions unique for your own videos. By the way, if this is the second or third time you have seen one of my videos and you have not subscribed yet, well, that is the YouTube gods telling you you should subscribe. So please do so if you haven't already and comment down below and let me know what you think. With that said, let's open up DaVinci Resolve and get started. Here I have my first clip and then I have the second clip underneath it that I want the transition to go into. Now I already created a fusion clip, but if yours is not a fusion clip and it's just a normal clip like this, you need to right click on it and select new fusion clip. Once you turn that into a new fusion clip, go ahead and put the playhead over that clip and then select fusion. Now with this specific clip, it's going to be a masking transition, but you don't have to make it a masking transition if you don't want to. So let's go ahead and go right up to the point of where she's covering the entire frame. I'm going to select the median and then select the polygon node. I'm going to select invert so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go over to the next frame. And now I'm going to start masking the left side of her out. Okay, so as you can see, now I've masked her out. And here's where the magic happens. First, what we want to do is just select anywhere in this box. Don't select a node. Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in background. Select the background and turn the alpha all the way down over here in the inspector. Next, with background selected, what we want to do is hold down shift and press spacebar and type in paint. Next, what we want to do is have the paint node selected. Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in soft glow. Then what we want to do is add a merge node. So let's go ahead and select our median node and then hold down shift and press spacebar and type in merge. Then what we want to do is select the soft glow and drag it to the merge. Okay, so here's the trick. With the paint node selected, come up to your upper left hand corner of your screen and select the polyline stroke. Go ahead and select two points. Doesn't matter how long they are, just two points so it draws a line. Then with the paint node selected, come over here to the inspector, select stroke controls. Then where it says right click here for shape animation, go ahead and right click on that. Scroll down to where you see connect to, select the polygon, and then select polyline. Next, what we want to do is come down to the soft glow, select the color scale, and just kind of adjust this to whatever color you really like or whatever fits your scene. So in this case, I'm just going to do some blue. Then with the paint node selected, you can adjust the brush size. You can make it bigger or smaller, but in this case, I'm just going to keep it about that big. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Okay, so now I have the media out selected. That way we can just see the final render of what we have so far. So right now we just have a nice solid bar that goes across the screen. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. But now this is where we can add some other effects to it. So now let's go ahead and drag these three nodes up just a little bit like that. I'm going to zoom out so you can see. Then what we want to do is just select anywhere over here, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in fast. And you'll see fast noise. Go ahead and add that. Then go ahead and connect the fast noise to the paint. Now, if we look at our paint line that we have here, what we can do is make some crazy cool adjustments to the fast noise. So let's come up here to the inspector. I like to turn the detail all the way up. I like to turn the scale all the way up. Maybe even mess with the contrast and the brightness. You can adjust these to however you'd like. So now we've added some texture to this line. Next, what I did is if you select the soft glow, and hold down shift and press spacebar and type in rays. Now you start to really generate some really cool 3D looking effects to this transition. What's also really fun to do is just continue to add effects under here where it says rays. You can add a star glow. A star glow can create some really cool effects. I deleted the, uh, the rays here. But if you click on the star glow and then you turn up the glare and maybe even the gain, you can see how it creates kind of like a star effect. You can turn up the threshold and also turn up the brightness if you want and change the star angle. And you can start to really customize how you like to do these effects. 
Now, instead of doing a very intricate masking transition, okay, so this next transition is going to be a little bit more simple. It's not going to be as intricate as doing that masking transition. So the first thing we want to do is select the median, come up here and select the polygon node. Then what you want to do is basically just pick a point in the clip. You can invert your polygon node so you can see where you are in the clip. But just pick a point where you want the wipe or the transition to happen over the entire clip. Then you can go ahead and select the invert again to turn that off. And we're just going to draw some design like that. And then we're going to move forward in the clip to right about here and drag these points all the way across. I'm going to open this up so we don't have anything conflicting. So now we have this going across our clip. So now we're going to repeat what we did on that previous transition. We're going to add a background node, turn down the alpha. Then we're going to add a paint node once again, and then also a soft glow once again. And of course, we need to add a merge node to connect all of those. So let's go ahead and select the paint node once again, come up here to the polyline stroke. Again, just draw two points, come under stroke controls over here on the inspector, right click, and let's connect that to the polyline. Then let's go ahead and make the soft glow something really cool. And let's go ahead and turn up the gain and give it some size. Also, we can turn up the glow size. Now we're really creating some cool artsy looking effect here. So here's something that's really neat. So say you did a wipe like this, but you want it to animate or do something crazy. You can select the polygon node and say maybe halfway through, you can just continue to do some weird funkiness. And you can draw this out or you can animate it however you like, depending on the clip. So now you can see we have some random masking happening, <laughs> but uh, you kind of get the idea. And what's really nice in the Fusion tab is now you can hear the audio. So if you're trying to do a music video, you can sync up the lines and kind of create your own animations and really get funky with it. If you guys make anything and put it on Instagram, tag me, I'll come check it out and I will see you in my next video. Thanks.